Tonight, we are getting a look at the scene following a gruesome attack that left a woman with her arm severed. Police say 34 year old John Pittman used a chainsaw to cut the woman's off the woman's arm off who they believe is his mother. Welcome back family today on Shotgun TV. We have a man cutting his mother's arm off. Let's check out the video. Well, Stella Jean, I also talked to a neighbor who describes hearing a noise sounding like a chainsaw, then a woman screaming. She says that she never imagined anything like ha that happening so close to her home, telling me it was pure chaos. I know, that's crazy. This chaotic scene unfolding after police say the man seen in this video used a chainsaw to cut off a woman's arm. Upon their arrival, the officers located the victim suffering from what appeared to be a severed arm. Monday afternoon, a chainsaw was seen being put into a brown evidence bag as several evidence markers lined the sidewalk and stairs at the home on Franklin Avenue. Tawana Crockett, who lives nearby, says she heard the chaos. To see and hear something like this is very, it's, it's shocking. It is it's disturbing. According to New Orleans police, the woman who had her arm cut off is 70 years old. Police believe she is the mother of the suspect, but details about what led to the attack are unknown. Right now, detectives are in the process of gathering information to identify a motive right now. This video obtained by WDSU shows the man police identify as 34-year-old John Pittman wrestling with officers in the aftermath. At one point, the group falls backwards downstairs. Then you see an officer holding her head while stumbling to a nearby car, a spokesperson with NOPD says two officers were injured. We do understand that they did receive mild to moderate injuries uh, in the process of engaging the suspect. The video goes on to show additional officers from multiple agencies wrestling with Pittman. He is eventually put into a car moments before the chainsaw is carried away. Police say the woman whose arm was severed is in critical condition and Crockett says she hopes the victim recovers. I just don't feel good about it. I don't. Now, police have not released any details about the victim's identity. As for Pittman, he's facing charges of aggravated battery by cutting and resisting arrest. We're live downtown in New Orleans Police Headquarters. Jonah Gilmore, WDSU News. The details of a man using a chainsaw to sever a woman's arm believed to be his mother are, are deeply disturbing. The video captured the chaos and confusion surrounding the events with neighbors expressing disbelief at such a gruesome attack happening close to their homes. The response of the law, enforce, uh, the law enforcement officer is also highlighted with two officers being injured while engaging with the suspect. The footage of the suspect re wrestling with officers and the subsequent arrest paints a chaotic and intense scene. The condition of the victims reported to be in critical condition as a sense of urgency and concern to the situation. The community hopes for, a, for the victim recovery evidence in the state of witness interviews overall i did a commentary on this tragic event would emphasize the shocking nature of the incident the swift action of law enforcement and the community collective concerns for well-being of the victim it serves as a reminder of sudden unexpected violence that can occur in communities and the importance of supporting those affected by such tragedies.